pandemic. I'm tired of this distancing. There is no community. I haven't done anything accomplished. Everything I said I was going to do this year. Man, I'm so tired. I get it. It's been crazy. It's been rough. It's been a pandemic and all these other things. But brother, you cannot throw in the towel. Listen here, uh, button up collar shirt me. You are too gifted to quit. You are too powerful. You are too anointed. This is not where you get weak at heart. This is not where you get, you get, you know, you begin to faint. You have to encourage yourself. Man, see, sometimes you got to learn how to encourage yourself. Um, one of my favorite stories in the Bible comes from uh, 1 Samuel chapter number 30. And, and it's the place where as um, David has um, his, his leadership ability has begun to spread. I mean, he's, he's got men, about 600 men following him. And um, on one of their excursions, they they home only to find that their land, their homes, everything was set up on fire. Um, the, the women and the children were gone and they did not know if they were dead or not. And the Bible says that those men weeped, they had no more power to weep. Um, I mean, 600 grown men crying because of what has happened in their home. Um, that they don't know what's they don't know what to do and in the midst of that to make matters worse they looked to the one who they felt led them to this dev this devastation and they picked up stones ready to kill David and the Bible says that in that moment uh, David um, said to the priest bring me hither the ephod the, the, the prayer garment and um, he began David the Bible says that he began to pray and while those men are about to stone him, David begins to talk to the Lord. And the Bible says that he encouraged himself. Um, he encouraged himself. Uh, you know, there's, you know, th th that passage has been preached so many different times. Um, and, and, you know, one will beg the question, what did he say to himself to encourage himself? Um, I, I, you know, it could have been, it could have been a lot of things. Uh, maybe he sang his favorite song. Um, if it was me, I would sing, God has smiled on me, or um, he's able. Uh, uh, whatever he did, he encouraged himself. He consulted with God and he got instruction. And, and that's what I want to encourage you today. I, I want you to be encouraged and to know that you can encourage yourself, um, that you need to speak the things that God says about you. Um, you're saying, well, I don't know what God says about me. Let me tell you a few things. One, um, he loves you. Um, he loves you. Uh, let's go Bible basic. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He loves you so much. He, lo he gave his all for you. That's how much God loves you. And knows if I, if I can't live on anything else, I can live on the fact that God loves me. And because he loves me, he cares for me. Because he cares for me, um, uh, I, I can go to him with my, my woes, my pain points, and all these other things um, that are ailing me. I can go to him, and, and so can you. So here's the season now. Um, as we're in this fourth quarter of the year, I'm encouraging you to encourage yourself. That's right. You are, you, you, you are bold enough. You are anointed enough. You're called enough. You're strong enough. You're powerful enough. You, you have everything in you to get things done. That's right. Those visions that God has given you, you can get it done. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than the he that is in the world. Let us pray. Father, I thank you. Hmm. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. That everyone listening right now in the name of Jesus, God, that as we uh, as 2020 comes to a, is ready, get, being ready to come to a close, God, we, we thank you for all that you are, Father, and we know, God, that you still sit on the throne. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, if nothing else, Father, that you will give us the inner ability 
God, through your Holy Spirit, to speak to ourselves, God, in the name of Jesus. God, that we will begin to encourage ourselves in you, God, to, to, to weather this storm, Father, knowing that you have never left us, nor will you ever forsake us, God, in the name of Jesus. God, that you are still endowing us with power. Father, you're still filling us with your spirit, God. There's enough of you on the inside of us, God, regardless of the measure, Father. There's enough of you on the inside of us, God, that we can conquer the rest of this year, and we can still accomplish vision. We can still accomplish dreams. We can still accomplished everything that you spoke over our lives, Father, in the name of Jesus. For your word says, God, that you work all things together. All things work together for the good for them that love God and them that are called according to your purpose, Father. So I pray in the name of Jesus, these things on the inside, God, that we all get the work and begin to accomplish the things in this quarter, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Listen, um, Man, I, I, I love you all. God bless you. Um, until next time, um, I'm out. Peace.